Hello, and welcome to overview of new Uniface 9 functionality spotlight. We'll start today's presentation with the Uniface 9 roadmap slide. We shall use this slide as a reference for the new functionality we'll be covering today, so please make a mental note of this slide throughout this product spotlight. Before we move on to new Uniface 9 functionality, I believe it's important to mention that Uniface Lab has done some significant kernel enhancements in Uniface 8 to make future Uniface development possible and in line with our vision. As you can see from this slide, the vision of Uniface development has been split into several key themes. These are GUI and usability, thin deployment and integration. As part of GUI and usability theme, we've done some major Uniface development environment enhancements. Development workspaces have a new, more modern look and feel. The layout management has been enhanced by usage of grid widgets where possible, and so on. Graphical user interface enhancements include various new widgets, significant enhancements of existing widgets, as well as more advanced color handling mechanism that's been implemented. A diagram editor is also available to provide a graphical view on the application models. Enhancements related to PROC language. These provide a greater flexibility for dynamically manipulating forms and menus, together with support for importing, exporting and manipulating data, as well as changes made to the compiler and of course Microsoft Vista support that provides compliance with the latest Windows look and feel. All these new features enable the development of software applications that meet nowadays modern GUI standards. In Thin Deployment Arena we went another step further in the web development field. Our main objective for the integrated web development project was to ease the development of server pages by enhancing the user interface and providing an integrated development approach comparable with that of other Uniface components. The server page layout editor is fully integrated with the Uniface development environment. It is similar to the other Uniface component editors that are integrated within the UDE. Uniface 9 no longer requires the generation or development of skeleton files to implement the presentation of server pages. Mobile development. Creating components with existing Uniface skills that can easily be deployed on Windows mobile devices was also something our customers wanted and we delivered. A support for building rich internet applications, or RIA for short, is something that we're currently working on and will be delivered towards the end of 2008. Integration theme has been divided into several key sub-themes to provide following. Unicode support, for example. Unicode is the internationally accepted standard for multiple language support. Unicode support extends the integration possibilities of Uniface applications. It enables the integration of all character type languages, from Arabic-based characters to Chinese, both traditional and simplified, from Japanese to Korean, Cyrillic language types, and so on. The assumption is, of course, that the underlying database also supports Uniface. If that is the case, then there are virtually no limitations for multiple language support of Uniface 9 applications. We've also done further Uniface application platform suite integration with Uniface Flow and Uniface View. And finally, probably something of a great interest to many Uniface users, web services enhancements. We have lifted a few limitations on web services used within Uniface. These include dependencies on Microsoft SOAP Toolkit, meaning Uniface developers can now make callouts and call-ins from and to all Unix and Microsoft platforms that we support, and also handle web service data regardless of its complexity. So, let us begin with Uniface Application Platform Suite. What is Application Platform Suite in general terms? According to Gartner, an Application Platform Suite consists of the following elements. An Enterprise Application Server, which can implement a variety of component-based applications across the enterprise's network. A Portal, or e-business framework, to deploy applications, components and technologies to end users. An Integration Suite, where existing legacy applications are integrated and optimized into new composite applications. Business Process Management, the opportunity to model cross-departmental tasks and to manage business processes. A unified development environment to develop new or integrate application components, front-ends and wrappers. When and how did we implement this in Uniface? Well, all elements that are needed are there. An e-business framework or portal called Uniface View. An enterprise integration suite, unified development environment called Uniface Developer a BPM solution called Uniface Flow, and an enterprise application server that supports all mainstream technologies in the market. 
Customers can deploy Uniface applications, but also non-Uniface applications and components can be executed under this framework. Important thing to remember is that customers don't need to work with a complete solution. All these elements can be implemented individually from each other, which gives the Uniface APS three key benefits over virtually every other tool in the market. Moving on to GUI and usability theme of Uniface 9. First, we shall look into some of the Uniface development environment enhancements we've made. Uniface 9 introduces new Diagram Editor, a utility that allows developers to create and edit multiple graphical views of the application models. Our grid widget is now being used inside the Uniface development environment. Significant development benefits have been achieved with this enhancement. For instance, when developers want to open a component for development, Grid widget now enables dynamic resizing of the forms to show more or less in your form. It is now possible to determine the layout of fields on forms using Uniface PROC language. It means that the initial form layout as defined in the form editor can be modified by changing the position and size properties of the field. The layout is no longer restricted to a frames in frames approach. Color handling has been extended in Uniface 9 with your choice of RGB colors, Microsoft Windows colors, or web colors, conforming to W3C standards, of course. This enables visual integration into the Windows desktop appearance and improved customization for end users if required. You can add color customization functionality for application end users using the new color handling widgets or by using PROC statements. The PROC code of Uniface 9 has also been extended on many levels, to name a few. PROC language now contains functionality to read and write XML files, regardless of their format or structure. Also, $UDE PROC function gives you the possibility to convert data and compile forms at runtime. PROC statements like Entity Copy allow developers to manipulate data conversions as they see fit. Data can be copied at runtime from one database or file to another, and many, many more enhancements within PROC language. Menu can now be dynamically built using PROC code. Therefore, the content of dynamic menus is set at runtime rather than being predetermined. As a direct reaction to our user group's inputs, we have delivered new widgets such as a calendar widget, progress bar that is native to underlying Windows operating system, output widget which can be used by Uniface developers to listen to a kernel output channels for putmes, compiler or any manual input data, Color list and color box widgets to provide users with selection of standard colors within their application, as well as the rich edit box widget that allows users to implement enhanced text formatting inside Uniface applications. Further, on the usability side, developers can now dynamically change cursor appearance in their applications. All Windows cursors can be used. You can also dynamically create tooltips on all Uniface widgets except the tree widget by using PROC code. Of course, we didn't just provide new widgets. We also implemented significant enhancements to existing widgets like Tree Widget Data Handling. Tab Widget now has an additional properties, such as Tab Position and Style, as well as Windows Mobile Display Style. Grid Widget has extended widget support for drop-down list, spin and combo box widgets, and many, many more widget enhancements. Uniface 9 also fully supports Microsoft Vista. It is important to state here that this is a complete Microsoft Vista support meaning fonts, icons, aeroglass theme, notifications, and so on, are all integrated on a lower level with Uniface. This has been best Uniface Windows integration ever, and has been proven key to our VAR community and their customers. Vista support also underlines our constant commitment to our custom currency updates and future innovations.